How Quercetin Benefits Brain Growth In this video, you will discover how quercetin benefits brain growth for both children and adults, and in a moment we shall reveal another free strategy to grow your brain too. Want to transform your health for free? Simple, just subscribe and click the bell icon to get notification of all our new videos upon release. In a collaboration between researchers from the University of Queensland and the German Center for Neurodegenerative Diseases, scientists discovered quercetin has pro-neurogenic effects in the hippocampus of the brain. The hippocampus is located within the temporal lobe and is part of the limbic system. This is a part of the brain where behavioral and emotional responses are generated. These responses are central to survival and include reproduction, caring for babies, feeding, and the fight-or-flight response. Other parts of the limbic system include the thalamus, hypothalamus, basal ganglia, and amygdala. The hippocampus is a well-studied part of the brain, which takes its name from the shape that resembles a seahorse. This area plays a crucial role in memory consolidation, coding, and learning. Another of its major functions is forming a cognitive map, which is related to your ability to acquire new knowledge, store it, and recall it. Your behavior is dependent on your ability to acquire new knowledge and represent the information accurately. Damage to this area can produce maladaptive behaviors. Evidence supports the role the hippocampus plays in decision-making as it relates to memory deficits that result from an Alzheimer's type of dementia. According to the Alzheimer's Association, the number of people living in the U.S. who have Alzheimer's disease is growing. There were an estimated 5.8 million people diagnosed with Alzheimer's in 2020. Nearly two-thirds are women. Experts estimate that as the population of people over 65 continues to grow, the number with Alzheimer's will also rapidly increase. By 2050, it is projected 13.8 million will have Alzheimer's disease. This new data offer more information about caring for the health of your memory and learning centers that are often hardest hit by Alzheimer's disease. As I discussed below, there are also other strategies you can use to protect your brain health. Quercetin stimulates proneurogenic activity. The research design of the featured study in stem cell reports was built on past studies that have demonstrated the benefits of phytochemicals found in plant foods. As the researchers wrote, one of the interesting processes is the brain's plasticity, which is necessary for structural and functional modifications to happen when exposed to internal and external stimuli. The researchers said they chose apples as they are widely consumed across the globe resulting in a generalized exposure. The study began with an in vitro examination of quercetin, which is an abundant flavonoid found in apple peel. The second half of the study was an in vivo study using an animal model. After their data analysis, the researchers ultimately found that apples contained compounds in the peel and the flesh that helped promote neurogenesis. Quercetin from the peel and another active compound from the apple flesh, 3,5-dihydroxybenzoic acid DHBA, demonstrated the ability to increase precursor cell proliferation and neurogenesis. The researchers measured the effect on neural precursor cells, which are stem cells that can generate neural cell types within the brain. They found the effect was like that reported in past studies for other compounds, such as resveratrol and epigallocatic in 3-gallate EGCG, which is found in green tea. During the lab portion of the study, the researchers found that stem cells generated from a mouse brain were protected and exhibited more neurogenesis when quercetin and DHBA were added to the cell cultures. During the animal study, they found structures in the brain that were associated with learning and memory had more neurons when the mice were given doses of quercetin or DHBA. Exercise also stimulates brain growth. Another stimulus that promotes neurogenesis is exercise. One study from the University of British Columbia discovered that aerobic training could increase the volume of the hippocampus in older women who had mild cognitive impairment. The scientists engaged 86 women ages 70 to 80 years and assigned them to a twice-weekly program over six months. The women engaged in aerobic activity, resistance training or balance, and tone training. Those enrolled in the aerobic training showed significant improvement in hippocampal volume. As reported in Science magazine, neurogenesis without exercise may not be enough to protect memory and learning. One animal model demonstrated that increasing levels of brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF, 
were required before the animals could outperform the control mice on testing. BDNF is a key molecule produced in the brain with exercise and may help to explain the neuroprotective and cognitive benefits people experience with exercise. Much less is known about the interaction between exercise, BDNF, and neurogenesis in the human brain as the inaccessibility of human brain tissue is the limiting factor. More is known about the benefits from animal models, while indirect measurements of neurogenesis are used in human participants. Senior author of the paper published in Science, Rudolf Tanzi, PhD, commented on the results of chemically induced neurogenesis with exercise. In our study we showed that exercise is one of the best ways to turn on neurogenesis and then, by figuring out the molecular and genetic events involved, we determined how to mimic the beneficial effects of exercise through gene therapy and pharmacological agents. Although exercise-induced AHN, adult hippocampal neurogenesis, improved cognition in Alzheimer's mice by turning on neurogenesis, trying to achieve that result by using gene therapy and drugs did not help. That was because newly born neurons, induced by drugs and gene therapy, were not able to survive in brain regions already ravaged by Alzheimer's pathology, particularly neuroinflammation. So, we asked how neurogenesis induced by exercise differs. The lesson learned was that it is not enough just to turn on the birth of new nerve cells, you must simultaneously clean up the neighborhood in which they are being born to make sure the new cells survive and thrive. Exercise can achieve that. More strategies to protect brain health. There are additional strategies you can use to help promote brain health. Astaxanthin is one. This powerful antioxidant is a naturally occurring carotenoid responsible for the pink or red color found in salmon, trout, lobster, and other seafood. It's often referred to as the king of antioxidants and is derived from hematococcus microalgae that produce it as a protective mechanism to shield it from ultraviolet light. In your body, it helps protect against reactive oxygen species and oxidation that play a role in heart disease, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and aging. In one review of the literature, scientists identified several pathways astaxanthin may take to help slow brain aging. They also found it increases BDNF levels and attenuates oxidative damage to DNA, lipids, and proteins. Another nutrient found in fatty fish that helps protect your brain health is omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fats are long-chain polyunsaturated fatty acids that include EPA, eicosapentaenoic acid, and DHA, docosahexaenoic acid. They are crucial for cell membranes and play an anti-inflammatory role in the body. DHA is especially crucial for brain health as it is an essential structural component that is found in high levels in the neurons. As I have written before and covered in my book Superfuel, co-written with James D. Nicolantonio, Pharmacy D, when there is an inadequate amount of omega-3, the nerve cells become stiff and are prone to inflammation. This reduces proper neurotransmission from cell to cell and the cells become compromised. Low levels of DHA have been linked to both memory loss and Alzheimer's disease, and some studies have suggested degenerative brain diseases may potentially be reversible when sufficient DHA is provided. However, it is important to choose wild-caught Alaskan salmon, krill oil, or other sources of safe fish, such as sardines, to meet these nutritional requirements. I discuss why in the high cost of salmon farming. There are also many benefits to nutritional ketosis, only one of which is providing adequate fuel to your brain for optimal functioning. You'll find more information about the metabolic and anti-aging benefits, as well as the importance of cyclical ketosis, in the article Ketones, the fourth fuel. If you want to discover how to slow down brain aging, click the link below to read the free article.